cloudy gray Monday, desperately demanded a trip to the library. I'm 140 something in line. I'm trying to fail. A darker shade of magic. A new piece of furniture has arrived for my loft. I didn't even tell you it was coming. My job is ending in June, so I'm freaking out. <laughs> YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. It's a cloudy gray Monday. The sun's trying to peek out, but it's not doing a very good job. And I felt like the ambiance desperately demanded a trip to the library. I don't visit my local library nearly enough, mostly because things are so readily available online. But recently I've had a real bad bout of luck with the Libby app and Hoopla. So those are two online renting apps where they're basically like online libraries. You attach your library card to them and you can rent things out at your leisure. But it also works like a library in the sense that you have to wait your turn if other people have rented it before you. And the books that I am desperate to read have such long waiting lines. I think for one of the books that I want, I'm 140 something in line. And I know I'm a nanny and I work with kids and my patience is more than the average person, but I can't wait that long. Thus, a trip to the library. I can run you through the books that I'm looking for, and I have a feeling that they won't have most of them, but it'll be worth a check. And if they don't have them, I can just ask for them to bring them from another library to this one. One of my favorite cozy mystery series is by Anne Granger, and it's the Mitchell and Mark B series. It almost always takes place in a tiny little town, usually in the English Cotswolds. I screenshot the titles of the series so I would know which ones I had read and which ones I hadn't. I hadn't realized how many of them I'd actually gone through. I think there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 16 that I haven't read. The voice actress I really love is Judith Boyd. She just has the perfect, beautiful accent. I love it. And then for some of them, they got a guy who is not nearly as pleasant to listen to. <laughs> so if the audiobooks have his voice, I won't be getting them. Surely, surely they didn't use him for the rest of the ones I haven't read. I hope not. I also want to get the second book in the Throne of Glass series. And then I want to start a new series recommended to me by my friend Ashley called For Blood and Ash. I know nothing about it except that she thinks it's brilliant, really funny, and super engaging. It's a fantasy, it's a romance, and that's really all I need to know. <laughs> she and I have very similar taste in fantasy books, so I feel like if she recommends it to me, it's a good bet I'll like it. And that's what I'm looking for at the library today. Let's go see if they have any or all of them. There is so much construction <laughs> that the entire road that I need to take to get to the library is utterly closed. So we're going back way. Really hoping I remember how to get there this roundabout way. Wish me luck. <laughs> Here's hoping.
So now luck on the book front. I wasn't able to find anything physically there at the library. The series I love apparently is not available at all in the whole of Ohio, which is great. <laughs> I was really disappointed to hear that. I guess it's just so old and not in any kind of high demand anymore that they didn't renew the license to produce audiobooks or physical books. So I may have to look on Amazon or Half Price Books or something like that to see if I can track them down because that's my cozy mystery series. I need them. As far as the Throne of Glass series, I was able to order that into the library in a physical form, not a CD form, sadly, but from Blood and Ash, I was able to get in CD form. So you win some, you lose some. And I also was able to find a book called A Darker Shade of Magic, which I have started in a physical book form and just never finished. I liked the first couple chapters that I did read, but apparently the audiobook is available on Libby. So I grabbed that. I love that I didn't have to wait in line for this <laughs> to actually listen to it. This was an immediate can listen right now situation. And I'm gonna listen to it right now. A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. Narrated by Stephen Crossley. Oh, whoa, it's 11 hours? Oh my. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to listen to nothing but this anytime I'm in the car, and probably a lot of times I'm not in the car in order to <laughs> read it by the time it needs to go back. This is why I like having CD form, because then I can just put it in my laptop and download all of the files onto my computer and listen to them at my leisure. Just kidding, I don't do that. just got home, made myself a cup of tea, and mom informed me that a new piece of furniture has arrived for my loft. So I thought I would take you and show you what it is. This gives you a needed B-roll. We'll make sure that we have more opportunity. <laughs> yeah. yelling at each other across the house. Well, honey. <laughs> I'm trying to film. I need one of those red recording lights. <laughs> I didn't even know the furniture was coming or I would have told you to build anticipation, but I've been needing a piece of furniture to go behind my couch. Eventually, I'd like to make something that's custom where it follows the slight curve of the back of my couch, but that's not happening for a while because that cost me a pretty penny. So this is good for in the meantime. And hopefully when I move into my own place someday, this can be used for something like an entryway table. It'll have multiple uses, but for now, this is gonna go behind my couch. I wanted a table that I could have behind my couch for the purpose of putting drinks on, even like bowls of snacks, things like that, not just for myself, but for anybody who happens to come visit. I think side tables are great, but I tend to fill mine up with pretty things. So they're not exactly practical for actual use. That's the need for this table. I'm also really shocked that someone thought I was trustworthy enough to use an X-Acto knife. I'm not sure whether to be honored or worried. Ta-da! Okay. Oops. I am not a builder. I have had very little experience putting these things together, but luckily, to kind of make them to be foolproof, which is great news for me. To make my life easier, I try to put things into piles of same items, and I definitely 100% do not lose the instructions. It was kind of a bit deceiving. In the photo, the drawers looked like actual sliding drawers, but in fact, they're fabric. It doesn't matter to me. I think these are just fine, but it would have been nice for that to be a little more obvious in the photo. If the fine print hadn't been read, I would have been in for a very disappointing surprise. Here's the top of the table. I like the way that it looks like real wood. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's not that one. Now for the instructions. I feel like I need a top hat and a monocle, you know, and a Mr. Potato Head mustache. <clears throat> That's in Spanish, hold on. Piece number one and piece number two will attach to piece number three. 
if these instructions are to be believed, which uh, we shall soon see. I think I might put you on a time lapse just to <laughs> speed things up a little bit. <laughs> There it is, behind my couch. No idea what I'm gonna put in it, but I will bask in the knowledge that I built her myself. Hi, you are propped on my new table that goes behind my couch. This is gonna be really nice. I, I was just thinking it would be great for sitting a mug down or maybe a plate of food, but in fact, this is great for vlogging and also I can prop my laptop on here and do some YouTube watching. So, uh, great choice all around. I'm very happy with this decision. <laughs> there were other things I was thinking about adding to this vlog, but for the summer, because I know things are gonna get so busy, what with decluttering my loft, looking for a job. <laughs> my job is ending in June, so I'm freaking out just a little bit. So job searching will be a full-time job. So I'm trying to give myself a little bit of grace where uploads are involved. I still wanna be on time and on schedule, but maybe make them a little shorter, maybe around the 15 minute range as opposed to the 40 minute range. So just fair warning, that's the spring and summer plan for now. Maybe things will change. Maybe my schedule will free up for now, especially with the end of my job looming very close ahead of me. I think I'm just gonna <laughs> give us a little bit of leeway here. All that to say, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to the library and watching me conquer the challenge of building my own furniture. <laughs> this day was definitely a happy one and I'm glad you came along to join me. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays, both at 6 a.m. and sometimes on Mondays. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.